Let's walk on the wise path. Welcome, warriors and seekers of wisdom, to a profound exploration into the teachings of Miyamoto Musashi. In this captivating journey, we will unveil the secrets of cultivating a strong and resilient mindset inspired by the legendary samurai. Imagine standing on a battlefield not just with a sword in hand, but armed with the formidable strength of a focused mind. This is the essence of the samurai mindset, a philosophy etched in the annals of history by none other than Miyamoto Musashi, the legendary swordsman, philosopher, and author of the Book of Five Rings. In this video, we'll unlock five powerful insights from Musashi's teachings to help you forge a samurai mindset, a mindset that will stand unwavering in the crucible of your own life. 1. Cultivate a clear mental image of success. Miyamoto Musashi, a maestro of the battlefield, understood that triumph was not solely a result of physical prowess, but equally influenced by mental acuity. The first step on our journey towards a samurai mindset involves cultivating a clear mental image of success. Musashi emphasized the critical role of creating a vivid mental picture of the desired outcome during combat. This goes beyond mere wishful thinking. It's a strategic approach to pre-visualizing success, anticipating the flow of battle, and predicting the opponent's moves. In an our contemporary world, Musashi's philosophy aligns seamlessly with the concept of visualization, a cornerstone of the law of attraction. The process begins with specificity. Instead of harboring a vague desire for success, delineate your goals with precision. Whether it's excelling at work, mastering a skill, or overcoming a personal challenge, create a crystal clear mental image. To practice visualization, find a quiet and comfortable space where focus won't be disrupted. Take deliberate breaths, letting go of any stress or distractions. Now, visualize yourself confidently navigating through your goals. If, for instance, your aspiration lies in excelling at work, imagine leading a team meeting, delivering a flawless presentation, and receiving accolades from colleagues and superiors. As you visualize, reinforce these mental images with positive affirmations. Utter strong statements like, I am fully capable of leading my team to success. This not only boosts self-belief, but also aligns your thoughts and actions with the envisioned success. The neurological underpinning of this practice lies in the reticular activating system, RAS, in the brain. By vividly picturing your goal, the RAS is primed to pay attention to opportunities and information that align with that goal. Regular visualization not only strengthens concentration and focus, but also trains the mind to stay committed to the essential steps for success. In essence, Musashi's emphasis on cultivating a clear mental image echoes through the corridors of contemporary psychology proving that the power of visualization transcends time and cultural boundaries. 2. Focus on perfecting the basics. In the words of Miyamoto Musashi, step by step, walk the thousand mile road. This admonition encapsulates Musashi's philosophy of prioritizing the minutiae of sword technique over flashy maneuvers. Rather than relying on extravagant and showy strikes, Musashi emphasized the precision of basic movements, the angle of the blade, the placement of the feet, and the timing of each strike. This principle extends beyond the battlefield. It resonates with the importance of paying attention to the small daily steps needed to reach long-term goals. Musashi's disciplined focus on the smallest aspects not only showcased his technical prowess, but also reflected a deeper philosophy that true mastery arises from an unwavering commitment to perfecting the basics. Consider applying this philosophy to the realm of writing. As a writer, focus on the nuances that may escape casual observation. When crafting a scene, pay meticulous attention to the choice of words, the flow of sentences, and the unique voices of your characters. Don't merely contemplate the overarching narrative. Delve into the minutiae, the subtle movements, expressions, and idiosyncrasies that breathe life into your characters. This level of concentration not only transforms you into a more adept storyteller, 
but also enhances your awareness and creativity. The art of storytelling, when imbued with Musashi's philosophy, becomes a meticulous process where energy is invested not just in the grand narrative, but in the intricate details that elevate your creative work. Mastering the art of noticing small details is a skill that requires practice. In the professional arena, enhance your attention to detail by carefully reading instructions, double-checking your work before submission, and breaking down substantial tasks into manageable steps. Practices such as mindfulness meditation and daily journaling can further refine your ability to notice and appreciate details in various situations. In essence, Musashi's philosophy of focusing on the basics serves as a timeless reminder that, in the pursuit of mastery, the smallest details are often the building blocks of greatness. 3. Stay Focused As Miyamoto Musashi wisely stated, do not seek pleasure for its own sake. In a world where immediate pleasures often distract us from long-term fulfillment, Musashi's life serves as a testament to the power of a disciplined routine. A routine, akin to the nurturing care of a mother, provides steady guidance, attention, and support for a child's growth. Similarly, a disciplined routine becomes a nurturing force in your life, offering stability and a sense of order, especially when faced with life's complexities. Establishing and adhering to a well-structured routine becomes a powerful tool for staying focused on your objectives. This routine is not a rigid imposition, but a reliable structure that fosters stability in the face of life's uncertainties. In essence, it becomes a nurturing force akin to a mother's care, a reliable presence offering stability and order amidst life's intricacies. Crafting such a routine involves thoughtful planning and a commitment to consistent habits. Begin by identifying your priorities and goals, whether they pertain to work, personal development, or well-being. Allocate specific time blocks in your day for these priorities, considering your natural energy levels and peak focus periods. Ensure that your routine is realistic and sustainable, allowing for flexibility when needed. The routine should not be a burdensome imposition, but a supportive structure that helps you stay on course. It is the guardian of your mental well-being, guiding you through the maze of distractions and challenges. Like a child thrives in the organized environment provided by a caring parent, your mind flourishes within the framework of a well-structured routine. Consider incorporating habits that align with continuous learning, self-reflection, and skill building into your routine. This disciplined approach to routine, akin to the care and guidance a mother provides, nurtures your mindset fostering resilience and the capacity to face challenges with grace. In a world that constantly bombards us with stimuli and distractions, a well-structured routine becomes a sanctuary, a place of refuge and order in the midst of chaos. In the context of mindset strengthening, it serves as a metaphorical mother, providing the necessary care and guidance for growth. 4. Never act on partial feelings. Miyamoto Musashi with sagacity, warns us against depending on partial or fleeting feelings. The battlefield, he asserts, is no place for excessive attachment to emotions such as fear, anger, or hesitation. In this context, he introduces the concept of mushin, or the mushin, no shin mindset, the mind, without mind or no mind state. Mushin is not a void, but a mental state characterized by total awareness and focus where thoughts and emotions do not obstruct the clarity of perception and action. Imagine a pond undisturbed by ripples. In this state, the surface reflects the surrounding environment with perfect clarity. Similarly, motion involves a mental calmness that allows one to perceive and respond to the present moment without being clouded by fleeting feelings, distractions, or preconceptions. Achieving the motion mindset requires disciplined practice and self-awareness. Musashi often used the metaphor of the emptiness of the teacup to illustrate this concept. In traditional Japanese tea ceremonies, the tea master emphasizes the importance of approaching the ceremony with an empty mind, devoid of preconceived notions. Similarly, individuals must strive to empty their minds of unnecessary thoughts and emotions, allowing for a clear and unobstructed perception of reality. 
In the realm of decision-making and facing challenges, the Mushin mindset is invaluable. Consider a scenario where an individual is working on an important project with a tight deadline and an unexpected issue arises. If they let frustration or panic take over, they might make rushed decisions or feel paralyzed by fear. However, with the Mushin mindset, they recognize these emotions without letting them control their actions. Instead, they stay focused on the task at hand, think about the problem objectively, and arrive at a smart solution. This ability to maintain focus and clarity amidst challenges is a testament to the power of Mushi. The mental calmness it fosters enables individuals to handle challenges with grace, make sound decisions, and contribute to the success of their endeavors. To comprehend Mushin, consider the analogy of a skilled martial artist executing precise movements in the heat of battle effortlessly. The well-practiced individual moves with a fluidity that seems almost instinctual, unburdened by the interference of extraneous thoughts and emotions. This state of heightened intuition and responsiveness, where actions flow effortlessly and decisively, encapsulates the essence of Mushin. Achieving Mushin involves more than simply suppressing emotions it requires a genuine understanding of one's internal landscape and a disciplined practice of emptying the mind. This is not about becoming emotionless, but about transcending the limitations that emotions can impose on clear thinking and decisive action. In everyday life, the application of Mushinade's decision-making, problem-solving, and navigating challenges. It involves recognizing and acknowledging emotions without allowing them to dominate or dictate actions. This level of mindfulness and clarity enables individuals to respond to situations with agility and precision, much like a martial artist facing an opponent in the arena. Motion is not a distant and unattainable state, but a mindset that can be cultivated through consistent practice. It involves embracing the emptiness of the teacup, letting go of unnecessary mental clutter, and fostering a state of heightened awareness and focus. In the journey to develop a strong samurai mindset, Mushin stands as a beacon, guiding individuals to navigate the complexities of life with clarity and grace. 5. Embrace Adversity as Opportunity In our final exploration of Miyamoto Musashi's wisdom, we encounter a profound insight. You must understand that there is more than one path to the top of the mountain. This quote underscores the importance of flexibility and the willingness to explore new avenues when faced with challenges. Musashi encourages us not to view setbacks as defeats, but as opportunities to reassess, adapt, and improve. Embracing adversity as an opportunity for growth is a cornerstone of the samurai mindset. In life, even with our best efforts, things may not unfold as expected, and setbacks may occur. The samurai, adhering to Bushido principles, faced failures with strength, honor, and a commitment to continuous improvement. Consider the analogy of a blacksmith forging a sword. The metal undergoes intense heat, hammering and folding, each step strengthening the blade. Similarly, setbacks in life can be viewed as a transformative process, akin to the meticulous forging of a sword. Each challenge, each setback, contributes to the refinement of character and abilities ultimately forging a stronger and more resilient individual. Now, let's transpose this philosophy into the modern context. Imagine an entrepreneur facing a challenging period in their business. Instead of perceiving it as a failure, they can see it as a chance to learn and get better. Just as a blacksmith learns from each step of the sword-making process, the entrepreneur can analyze what went wrong, identify areas for improvement, and adjust their strategies accordingly. This mindset of always seeking improvement and adaptability is aligned with Masashi's philosophy, where failures or challenges are not viewed as insurmountable obstacles, but as opportunities for growth. Much like the transformative process of forging a sword, setbacks contribute to the strengthening of character and abilities, preparing individuals for future challenges. The key to embodying this philosophy lies in the recognition that setbacks are not permanent defeats, but integral components of the journey toward mastery. Instead of becoming mired in disappointment, 
individuals are encouraged to seek lessons in their mistakes, extracting wisdom from every experience. This approach requires a shift in perspective. Rather than viewing challenges as obstacles to success, they are reframed as stepping stones on the path to greatness. The samurai understood that facing adversity with resilience and a commitment to improvement was not only honorable, but also essential for personal and professional development. In the context of the entrepreneur mentioned earlier, the setback becomes an opportunity for introspection and strategic reassessment. By examining what went wrong, identifying areas for improvement, and adjusting their approach, the entrepreneur can emerge stronger and more adept at navigating the complexities of the business landscape. This philosophy of embracing adversity as an opportunity is akin to Masashi's mindset, where challenges are not seen as roadblocks, but as catalysts for growth and refinement. The samurai, with their unwavering commitment to Bushido principles, understood that setbacks were not indicative of failure, but rather chances to evolve and become more resilient. The analogy of the blacksmith forging a sword resonates deeply with this philosophy. The intense heat, hammering, and folding may be arduous, but each step contributes to the creation of a stronger, more resilient blade. Similarly, setbacks in life, when approached with the samurai mindset, become transformative experiences that strengthen character, sharpen skills, and prepare individuals for future triumphs. In the entrepreneurial realm, this philosophy encourages a dynamic and adaptive approach to challenges. Instead of viewing setbacks as insurmountable obstacles, they are reframed as opportunities for innovation, growth, and continuous improvement. The entrepreneur, like the blacksmith, refining each step of the sword-making process, can use setbacks as a means to enhance their skills, refine their strategies, and ultimately emerge victorious. This notion of continuous improvement and adaptability aligns seamlessly with Masashi's teachings. It transcends cultural and temporal boundaries, offering a timeless wisdom that encourages individuals to view challenges not as roadblocks, but as stepping stones to success. The samurai mindset, deeply rooted in the philosophy of embracing adversity as an opportunity, serves as a guiding light for those navigating the unpredictable terrain of life. As we conclude our exploration of the samurai mindset, remember that the way of the warrior is not confined to the battlefield, but extends to the art of mastering life itself. The timeless principles of Miyamoto Musashi offer a guiding light for those seeking strength, resilience, and purpose. Thank you for joining us on this transformative quest to develop a strong samurai mindset. Subscribe for more insightful content and may the wisdom of Miyamoto Musashi guide you on your path to greatness. Until next time, stay inspired, stay focused, and cultivate the strength of a true warrior.